don't even tip for the bond. It's usually only 10% of that. No, we got the cash. I'm going to get them right out. Okay. Okay. We're going to take off, okay? Okay. All right. I'm coming. And you're, you're good to drive this. You got... I'm sure you got a license, right? Okay, yes, I have okay. a driver's license. Okay. Is anybody else, can you let me know, though, before you leave State Trooper, are there any other people in these vehicles? Because Hancock has refused to answer my questions. Are they the only people here that are going to be going with you? Yes, actually, okay. nobody's going with me. Good, I'm good. Gonna leave and I'm, I'm going to be the only one. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. We're still live here, world. Yeah, yeah. We're still live. Flood the lines of the sheriff's department. Gerhardt and his goons must be fired. He needs a lie detector test. Probably need to go drop the trailer and come on down here and pick me up. Let your followers know how you're doing right now. I'm, I'm, I'm not well, but okay. th this is part of it. Mm -hmm. This is part of the, the, the hate crimes and the false accusations that Officer Gerhardt makes. That's right. And, 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 and just so happened one of his goons are here, Hancock. Hancock is one of his goons? He's part, okay. He's, he's part of but, the plot. But uh, Cantrell is going to take care of you, correct? You'll be in your care the entire time. I'll be the only one. Only one. Yeah. You hear that, America? Courtney Wayne Mallory better come out of this unharmed. It's Black History Month and we're still working. Hey, goons. Thank you. Thank you. Be safe. There are the goons right there. There are the goons. There are the goons. Gerhardt's goons. Yeah. Flood those lines. Flood them. Flood them. Flood them. Gerhardt's goons. Something funny to you, Commander? You one of the goons? We know how to flood the lines. We're going to call the FBI and the governor on y'all. Give Gerhardt a lie detector test. Give him a lie detector test. He's a lying racist. Oh, I need that. Yes. He better not be harmed in, in custody. Okay. You going to take care of him? Okay. I'm putting him in your care. All right. I appreciate you. So y'all just heard that audio, well, that video right there, because I, I said I need to show y'all the video and have the audio playing as well as to what y'all were hearing because some of you may not be aware now one of my subscribers i think reached out to me about two weeks ago asking me to do a video about it and who would have thought two weeks later we would have been circling back to this and this would happen now in this picture you see a man by the name of courtney mallory i'm not sure of the woman who was recording the video because it says courtney is married to a woman named nicole so i don't know if that was his wife recording the or on the live stream the live feed or if it was somebody else but basically he and his wife own this ranch in colorado and as you can see this is i wanted to pull up this picture this is him right here and this is him with his cattle and this is part of the ranch he owns as you can see that's a lot of acres of land that's a lot of land that you can see right there in the background as a matter of fact let me expand the picture a little bit more there so now you can see it's that's a lot of land that they're working with and they have been literally be, been getting harassed by numerous people including the person she mentioned a dear heart someone who's in the department for a while now now it's gotten to the point where this man has been placed under arrest and i think it was even a point where she got arrested as well if people wanted to know why i do my black massacre series and why I say they are not far removed from their ancestry, I present to you Exhibit A. Now, the common theme that has been happening with my Black Massacre series thus far is that you have a lot of you have black people, especially back then, free blacks, even in the 1800s, who were all they were trying to do was survive, you know, thrive with their families, even if they were alone, trying to build businesses and become upright citizens in America. But PC could not handle that, or as I call them, the usual suspects could not deal with that. So they had, quote unquote, riots, and I put that in quotations, because I know how some of y'all feel about that, to get them up out of there because of envy, jealousy, and anything else that they could feel would thwart black progress. And that was back in the 1800s. Here we are in 2023. They don't have to have a, quote unquote, riot anymore 
they'll use the system in place to get you up out of there. And it doesn't happen just it doesn't happen to be just with the situation the Mallory's are dealing with with their ranch. We talked about it with these black businesses closing in the mall. We I talked about it where people who own stores where people will plant drugs, anything to get them out of the paint because they cannot stand black progress or black success at all. It threatens them. But these are the same people that say we're lazy. We don't work. We're shiftless and all types of other things. No, we're the complete opposite of those things. Uh, granted, there's people in every group that, you know, you have your lazy, shiftless people, but that's every group is not conducive to black people. And then you have people that will say, oh, this is not racism and white supremacy. I don't know what else they could try to call it, but they'll find a way to call it what, what it is not. But we know what it is. Good thing we don't have to rely on whatever it is that they claim it, they want it to be. This man and his wife worked hard to get this off the ground and to get it up and running for them to consistently be harassed. And then they're the ones that get arrested for being harassed. All it really is, is they want to take this man's land and do with whatever it is, because they know he's making a lot of money on it. You know, farming is a lot of money to be made in farming. And that's a lot of land out there. That's, that's very beautiful. Like I could, if I was out there, I would just go out there and just stand right there and just breathe in the air and just like exhale it back out. And be like, wow, I feel like I'm in paradise. And like I said, this has a historical thing. Again, this is not recent. This has historical leanings on it. Again, another reason why I'm doing that series, because a lot of people don't know that. They don't teach that in school. As a matter of fact, Ron the Snowflake down in Florida would call this CRT. Or he would say that this is a violation of the Stop Woke Act. I had a, quite a few people that got upset or in the comments and everything like saying, saying, uh, oh, Ron DeSantis, uh, he, you know, he's doing a good thing because, you know, he pointed out that they're putting queer theory in AP African-American studies. I said, OK, he pointed that out. But let's not forget of all the other stuff that he wants out of there, too. As a matter of fact, look at Professor Black Truth's Moment of Truth video that he did about Ron DeSantis recently where they were talking about something about the female athletes and their menstrual cycles or something like that. If y'all know what I'm talking about, you know exactly what I'm referring to. As a matter of fact, I'll just leave the link to that moment of truth down there. And you can, and you can go and watch it for yourself. But yeah, he would, if this was in Florida or if he was the governor of Colorado, he would say that, you know, this happening would be quote unquote fall into the category of CRT or it's the violation of the stop woke act if we dare call this out for what it is. And y'all know I'm not lying. Because they want so bad for it to not be that. But at, that's exactly what it is. And what when's the last time we heard any story where a white farmer or farmers have had to run into these kind of obstacles? Every time I hear a story with, about farmers and some kind of hurdle they got to go through, it's always a black farmer. Remember that story that I talked to you all about a few years ago where you had the black farmers. They pretty much laid out the land. They did all the work, but they wanted to like slow down their payments so they'll quit or leave and then bring in white South Africans from South Africa to now work the farm after all the hard work has been done. But they call us lazy. They call them lazy after they did all the work. Keep this in mind, you know, this could fall into the reparations claim right here. And that's another thing we'll have to worry about, you know, when, when we those tangibles get cut because you see what they're doing right now. And this guy doesn't have reparations. None of us do. He's being he's very he's very successful. This guy's practically in his own right and his his wife, a millionaire or millionaires. And they want to snatch that away. Didn't work for it. Just take. Because that's what the usual suspects are known to do. Just minding our business, doing our work, you know, out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. But that's not enough for them. The usual suspects want us to always be not even second tier because that's too close to them 
the last tier. But yeah, if y'all have not peeped the Black Massacre series yet on my channel, I don't know what y'all are waiting for. Just look at that and think about this. They literally are parallel with each other, as well as several other stories that have happened within recent years. But I'm glad that this woman, you know, as passionate as she was, recorded that and she said nothing better happened to this man because we all know how a lot of times when a black person gets in police custody stuff be happening whether they can get jumped they can get beat or worse they can die i mean think about what happened with sandra bland this woman was in good condition before she went into that that jail and then tw like less than 24 hours later she's dead or two days later she's gone so yeah, we just keep and I'm glad she said that because if something does happen, they'll pinpoint it back to that video and say she said to make sure that he's good. And, she, and I'm glad that even though that that PC cop she was talking to, she was more calm with him. She said he's going to be with you, right? You're going to be with him the whole time. If something does happen, she can link it back to him and saying you wasn't a man of your word. So now that means he's standing on the chopping block and he has to make sure that not a hair is out of this man's beard. But I'm not surprised that any of this happened. It's very unfortunate because they're doing all kinds of things. And I, I think I read some other places as well that they would even vandalize some of the stuff on their ranch and all kinds of stuff to try to get them to, I guess, leave or sell, you know, whatever the case may be. And because when they don't budge, that's when they move up to the next level. You can't even call it the next level of petty because this is not even petty. Petty is something, you know, you can just kind of laugh it off a little bit and move forward. This is diabolical. This is maniacal. They have gone into that territory. They want so bad for this man and his wife and their business to fail that they will do just about anything to make that happen. Again. Not far removed from their ancestors applies to this story and so many more that I've covered and even have not covered. I have a whole series going on right now that's literally dedicated just to that phrase. So this is a couple of days later after the initial part of me and the, well, the recording that I had in there. And since then, he Courtney Mallory, who is this man right here has been released from custody, which he should not have been in the first place. But their uphill battle, him and his wife's uphill battle, is still far from over because now they got to deal with the sheriff, <coughs> excuse me, who in him and his department has basically been harassing this couple and their farm for the longest. Now they're trying to throw it back onto them and saying that they are stalking them. It's like literally a back and forth type of thing going on. And again, it's because they really want that land and they want them off of it because they know they just can't come in there and take it. I mean, they could if they wanted to, but they want to not make it look too obvious. Like they're literally trying to make it seem like this man and his wife are the bad guys. They're trying to make it seem like they are the ones who are the villain of this entire story. So they still have an uphill battle that they are dealing with. And the crazy part about it is they aren't the only black farmers that are dealing with this situation. I even read somewhere and I wish I had it in the initial part of this video where some of them went as far as to poisoning and killing some of their, their animals. Like literally if they lose animals like that, that's like losing money because they need that on the farm. They need some type of livestock on the farm. And when they did that, that's literally taking money from them. And not only just from them, but for anything else that they have to provide as a source or resources to maybe other people. Like, it's a lot of moving parts that's going on with this situation. And it's a damn shame that this is happening to them. But again, going back to what I said and going to back to my Black Massacre series reference, this is not new. And it un and is unfortunately it's not unique to just them. This is something that has been going on for so long to the point where you could practically write multiple volumed books about it. 